Hello, this is Charles from Cedalino Photography, and today we're going to look at this extended grip for the new Sony Alpha A1. Now, this is an older grip. If you look at this, this is the grip for the Sony Alpha A7R4 or A9 Mark II, and I'm going to show you how this fits because the bottom of this camera is not the same as the A7R Mark IV and the A9 Mark II. The A1 is just a little bit different. So we're going to take a look at how this fits on this camera. Let's go ahead and take a look. This extension grip and L bracket is a Wipoto GP-A74 slash A92 and it's made for the A7R Mark IV and A9 Mark II. It has a built-in Arca Swiss right in on this side and then right here on the bottom. And then you can also, when you're mounting it in the vertical mounting mode, it does have the ability to add a few things with the quarter 20 extension bolt holes right here, but you can put that back on. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the bottom half of this and you can see that there is the battery door that you have to take off of your camera and put on here. And I created this little foam gasket right here by going to Michael's and getting a little piece of foam and then tracing it and cutting it out so that there's a little piece of foam there so that it'll provide a little bit more water protection right here for when you have it mounted on your camera. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this fits on the camera. First off, we need to take off the door from the camera. You can see right here that there is a little slide with a spring. You pull back on that slide and then you carefully take the door off with these two little dimples right there. So we take this door off and then we mount this door on the bottom of our L bracket. By doing the same thing, we pull back on this little spring slide right here we put the one side of the dimple in there and then we pull back on the spring slide and then we have the door put on here. Now I'm not too sure what the weather ceiling is like here so if I was going to be in any kind of rainy weather I'd probably put some painters tape over this so that water didn't get in. But I added this little foam gasket right here and as you can see it does not impede with the battery so that you can take the battery in and out real quickly. But this is a 99 cent little foam gasket material that you can purchase from your local craft store. And I've added this to my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tighten this on here just so that you can see what this looks like. Tighten this on. There is a little dimple on the camera so that the bracket doesn't slide back and forth right here and as you can see uh, it fits really nicely all along the edges it doesn't impede with the uh, display right there and it fits really well I really like this and of course we have the ability to put this uh, hex or allen key in here on with the magnets and so now that I have my gasket material in there I'm gonna go ahead and show you the door it doesn't have a spring mounted uh, door like the camera, but as you can see here, I can just flip that little blue lever right there and the battery just kind of comes out. So I'm gonna flip that back open and then put the battery back in and it snaps right back in there. So now I'm gonna give you a breakdown of how I made this gasket. The first thing that we need to do is we need to put the gasket material in between the camera and the L grip and then we're going to tighten the bolt on the bottom and what that's going to do is it's going to leave an imprint on our gasket material and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on a hard cutting surface and then we're going to cut out the shape of the bottom of the camera with a razor blade and then we're going to trim it up real nice and then we're going to put it back in between the camera and the L grip. And if you're one of the fortunate ones that managed to pick up a Sony Alpha A1 in the first shipment, I would recommend picking up this extension grip 
and L bracket from Weepoto. It provides some nice contouring that goes along with the bottom of the camera. It's got a great texture that matches the rest of the camera. Gives you an area to put your pinky and then it has the ability to incorporate the battery so that you don't have to take the grip off to be able to put the battery in. The only con that I can see for this particular L bracket is that when you have the actual L bracket installed, you will need to stand the L bracket off just a little bit in order for the doors to be able to open. If you have it all the way close to the camera, you will not be able to open any of the doors. So you will need to uh, set it off probably about three quarters of an inch and that's the only con that I can see for this particular bracket. Get yourself a little bit of gasket material from the local uh, hobby store, sandwich it in between the camera and the bracket, cut it out, put it in there and it gives you a little bit more weather sealing. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos. Cheers!